this numerator and and denominator uh, uh, denominator discussion that we're just doing here then it will be very obvious for you just remember that direct quotation means the price is written in the form of dollar indirect quotation means the price is written in the form of currency which you are doing in indirect quotation everything is divided by everything in terms of dollar in direct quotation the currency would be in denominator and dollar would be in numerator and that's it so these are the example this is the direct rate this is the indirect rate and that is at the end of the semester this is at the start of the semester so it is just like written as and if if you want to find out the spread you can also find out as well or if you want to find out the percentage change in the currency as well you can also find out so this is just at the start of the semester at the end of the semester okay now by looking at this at the start of the semester at the end of the semester whether currency appreciate or depreciate appreciate mean increase in value or the currency value is you know increased or upward movement depreciation mean currency value decrease or going downward appreciation mean increase right so let's see that how we interpret we interpret that when the euro is appreciating against dollar which means based on upward movement of the direct exchange rate of the euro the indirect euro is declining which means we just divided by the direct quote it is similar like that so example is this if euro price increase what does it mean what does if it mean price increase previously you can buy 1 euro at 1.40 and now you can buy this 1 euro 1.45 if i write dollar here that this is the price of euro in dollar or those who are still struggling to understand this just convert this euro into one banana one banana is equal to 1.40 dollar and now the banana prices is that One point four five dollar. So banana price increase or decrease? Increase. It means banana prices has appreciating. Now delete that banana and write it down here in euro. One euro is one point four dollar, and now it's one point four five dollar. What does it mean? it means euro is becoming expensive becoming appreciating or its direction is moving upward one and the same thing okay if it is written in in indirect quotation if you divide it by 1 then what happen it means you need less euro to buy 1 dollar no if you divide by 1 then this scenario becomes opposite and it looks like it is depreciating but we have to see that okay just see that here direct will become it will become 0.7143 and it will become 
So on the surface, it looks like that the price has decreased. But we are talking about Euro. Can you say that in our previous example of one banana and we talk about that one banana 1.402 1.45 so if we just taking inverse what does it mean it means 1 over 1 1.40 1 over 1.45 answer is point seven one four three point six eight nine six so here banana here banana so you can interpret indirect code is like that one banana is equal to one point four four zero dollar and now the price is one point four five dollar if we take indirect quotation then we can inter interpret like that previously we can buy from one dollar 0.7143 banana and now from the same dollar we are buying less banana now pay close attention to this discussion uh, indirect and direct addition previously one banana was 1.4 dollar and now the value increased 1.45 that is direct easy to understand if you take inverse then how you can interpret this because this is this code become dollar is equal to 0.7143 banana right so it means we can buy from one dollar 0.7143 banana or gram banana right and now due to increase in the price how we can only afford 0.6896 banana so, so this is advantage for you or in or disadvantage for you if you have one dollar previously you can buy 0.7143 gram of banana and now from the same dollar you are buying 0.6896 gram of banana which means you are now on disadvantage so it means if one thing is appreciating other thing is depreciating right so who is appreciating whose value is increased banana value is, in, is increased you have the same one dollar your one dollar has decreased in value because the value of one dollar has decreased because it can only afford now 0.68 gram of banana previously it was buying 70.71 gram of banana so we can interpret in the indirect code as the value of dollar has decreased the value of banana has increased now switch this banana with euro you can also find out the same stuff the price of euro has increased okay if you still are not clear with this direct and indirect after just this 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 lecture and reading this chapter if you still have some confusion please do write us on our wechat forum so that we can explain and talk about over there as well and depreciation means the value of the euro is decreasing for example previously the value of euro so how we can write on this quotation as 1.45 dollar per euro it means this is the price of denominator and the price is written in numerator right and now the price is 1.40 so clearly the direct quotation is that the price has decreased the euro prices has decreased right and on indirect basis if you take inverse so one by 1.45 one by 1.450 answer would be like this now previously if you cannot understand this code euro just eliminate it with banana and that is previously you can buy from one dollar 
eight gram of banana. But now, from the same dollar, you are buying 0.71 banana. Whose value is increasing? Banana value is increasing or dollar value is is increasing? The value of dollar is increasing. The same dollar is giving you more banana. The same dollar is giving you more banana, which means dollar value is increased. If dollar is increasing, automatically it means that euro or banana is decreasing. So I gave you the example of banana, so you just understand clearly what's going on. So if you still have some kind of ambiguity, do read the chapter and write us on our WeChat group. Okay. So that is the graphical representation of direct and indirect exchange. So you see it is like this and from here so it moves in opposite directions right and now cross rates which is most important part of our discussion so in previous example we have two currencies right dollar and euro what if we have the third currency as well right then how we can find out the value of third currency in terms of other two currencies so we call this cross rate <coughs> what i'm trying to say we have banana we have apple and we have pear so what i'm trying to say cross exchange rate is what is the value of banana in terms of apple and pear? That's what I mean. So let's refer to our definition here. And that is cross exchange rate is the amount of one currency per unit of an other currency. Right? So here. So we have value of peso, which is dollar. So one peso is equal to how, how can I write in the form of ratio value of peso in dollars, which mean divided by peso. We can write it down like this point zero seven dollar per peso. Value of Canadian dollar, we can write it down like this 0 0.70 divided by Canadian dollar. And what if we want to find out the value of peso in the Canadian dollar? Do we have that code here? No, we don't have this. this code right we have dollar over peso we have dollar over canadian dollar but we don't have the value of canadian dollar over peso so you have to make this rate so remember the cross multiplication rule that is we have to make this ratio and we are given dollar over peso and we if we multiply this dollar over Canadian dollar can we get this rate answer is no why because in that case we would be getting dollar square into P multiplied by CS we need Canadian dollar over we need canadian dollar over peso how we can do that if we take inverse of this one in that case dollar dollar cancel and at the end we are end, ended up having canadian dollar divided